Three is Mark Perry from Sutton Coalfield. And we're underway. Telford then kicking from our left to right. And it's live here on BBC Radio Shops here as we're back to Newton. Newton with a high ball towards the back post. Adams cushions it down to Brown. Brown with his back to goal. Shoots! And it's over the bar. A bicycle kick from Andy Brown. That's confidence for you. Channel. Adams has got himself into space on his right wing. Rogers gets past the tackle from Yates. Brown looks to flick it on into the path of Sally. Waiting on the penalty spot. And Sam Gwynn appeals for a handball. It's then inside this right channel. Left footed. He'll swing it in with pace as well towards the keeper and the keeper takes it it was too close to the keeper in the end that's well won by Gwyn Gwyn with a lovely ball into the centre to Brown and it just evades Brown but Mills picks it up on the far left hand side this is a good move Mills shoots and it's wide that was a great tackle by Gwyn on the halfway line joint caretaker manager to the feet of uh, Weird Daly looks to turn it's a high ball in from Canaville decent one as well looking for Yates that's good defending from John Adams though won the header again and he's had a super he's been around a bit he should know better Newton then shoots and it strikes a wall we built him up too much that's not handball the fans think that's handball it struck the Boston man on the chest and now it's brought away by Anthony Church that's a good run towards Jamie Yates Yates looks for a diagonal ball from his left wing up towards just in front of our commentary position there's Telford kicking from our left to right Ryan Young's been caught there by Ryan Semple not the best of challenges actually I think it may have been Spencer Weird Daly waiting to see the number on the back of his shirt and Ryan Young's got an injury here it was a late ball uh, a late run in from Spencer Weird Daly I should say and Ryan Young was caught You'll have heard the boos from the crowd just now. He should have really, have, but he should really have shown a card, I think. But he got away with it. Into Gwyn, who's unmarked. Gwyn looks to shoot, and it's blocked. So it would be in a very ambitious effort there from Gwyn. Here's Brown looking to hold it up from the defender. Wins it back from Sleaf. Gwyn's been caught late by Dudfield from the side, and no free kick, says the referee. The Yates for number 11 to take it. Remember him playing at Alfreton actually. A couple of years with Boston now. The uh, winger. Good header away by Whitehead. He's been caught there. Shot back in. And it's gone out of play for a corner. Going to be okay. Referee's happy. Not sure why uh, Whitehead and Dudfield are. They're still holding their heads. Corner though for Boston. And the fans have alerted the referee to the fact that the ball isn't inside that little uh, zone. Quite clearly, is why players do things like that. What they're trying to prove. I suppose it gives them a bit of bit more space to get between the corner flag and the ball. But the corner's taken and they scored. And it's a header from a number five, Sean Pearson, the centre half, who towers above Shane Killock and wins the header. And Boston have taken the lead. Telford nil, Boston one. In front of a David Hutchinson stand. And the corner, well, it stands and the goal stands. I guess slightly against the runner play, Boston have taken the lead. First effort on target from Boston and a decent corner in the end when Yates did take it and went after he'd moved the ball back into that quadrant and Pearson rose well at the far post. Was going to go to and indeed it does up towards Brown. Brown wins the header. Waiting is Rogers. The keeper clatters into him. Mills looks to get it back into Salim. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. It's behind for a goal. Enders in this league who will push him in around, kick him in the back of the legs. Yates with a free kick. Right footed, diagonal ball. Headed in by Pearson. Ryan Young catches it. He was under pressure from Spencer Weir Daly. Jerry. Telford can't get hold of it. Now, here comes Dudfield. Dudfield one on one. And that's a fair challenge from Dudfield, I think, on Ryan Young. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. And now Dudfield squares up to Ryan Young. And the referee's right there. To be fair, I think Dudfield was fair going for that one. I think it's a 50 50 ball. Ball there look there to go for to me I think Ryan Young complaining to the referee Dudfield didn't like that and uh, Dudfield reacted really because he was being accused of a foul by Young Young but back underway Adams looks to slip it into the path of Brown Brown gets himself he appeals for a penalty it's going to be a corner defender and, and, and went to ground Mills switches it in header from Rogers and it goes out of the ground got right underneath it I'm sure they switched off Dudfield gets it out to Semple they've got lots of room again on this right corner of the penalty area Semple shoots across the face of a goal it just needed a touch from a
a Boston man. Rare that Killett gets beaten for place, but it seemed as if Semple had the better of him there. And now it's an upper ball incident with Pearson, who's caught at Greg Mills. The keeper's telling Mills to get up. And now he kicks it out of play. Oh, Mills isn't too happy here with uh, Pearson. I think that Stam, the chairman Lee Carter to our left hand side watching on. Free header for Brown, gets it through to Adams. Adams couldn't get it under control. And the keeper picks it up. Salim picks out Mills. He's got Will Salmon sprinting down the right, but Mills is going to go head down and run against the defenders. Mills gets himself towards the corner of a penalty area. Gets past Sleaf, looks to get the cross in. Lovely ball in, cleared away by Dudfield. And it's still going to go just out of play for a throw in for Telford. Here's Yannick Salim, who's coming into the game a bit more now. He's holding it off. And he's got the ball off three players there. That's really well played. Adams lofts it over to his left wing. Newton gets a rare chance to come forward. He's going to get a corner here. And that's good play. Super hold up play by Yannick Salim. And that's what we needed, just for him to work a bit harder. And towards the back post, his trainer and Whitehead, they make the move in. Mills goes for goal, it's just over. The keeper was completely bamboozled. He was running towards the far post. Very clever free kick back from Mills. And it wasn't far away from being Telford's equaliser. Boston dangerous from the counter attack. Spencer Weir Daly chasing the ball down against Whitehead. Whitehead's header forced the path of Yates. Yates back into Spencer Weir Daly. Cleared away by Killock. Brilliant defending from Shane Killock on the near post. And Mills is going to pick it up against Cannonville. Mills now takes it out wide, cuts inside. Here comes Mills, lovely ball. Here's Rogers. Rogers looks to shoot and he scuffs it. He should have shot first time. He held on to it for too long. Rogers, 40 yards out. It's a heavy touch over to his left hand side, but actually I think Mills will keep that in play. And he does so next to the corner flag on his left hand side. The cross is blocked. Here's Trainer. He'd love to get his 12th goal of the season. It's saved by the keeper. Trainer turning well. His shot didn't have power behind it, but it was placed well. Or Newton in front of his own penalty area. Here's Greg Mills, flicks it on, Williams, they've got men over on this left hand side, Williams and Mills linking up well as they did on Tuesday for Mills to score against Corby, his cross is blocked on this occasion and it's going to be a throw in, two fences to go in the National as well. Yeah, Telford pouring forward at the moment, just really need to get the ball into the box and try and put pressure on this uh, Boston defence. Another throw in for Telford up towards the edge of the penalty area. And Newton waits to take this throw in on this occasion. Williams makes a run down the line. Newton gets it off Rogers. Newton's cross is blocked by Church. And that's going to be picked up by Mills on the edge of the area. Brings it under control. His shot's blocked. Williams can't get contact onto it. And it's still not gone out of play. They can't clear it. Finally, it comes out of the penalty area. This is like the Alamo now, and Telford certainly dominates, uh, dominating proceedings. Yeah, we really see them put some pressure together. It's out here again with Mills on the left now. Mills, who's having a great second half, back to Newton. Not the best of balls in, and it'll be a goal kick. But that's a, been a good spell by Telford. Walls lost 3-0 against Everton at Molyneux. It's a big kick from Ryan Young. Well, now two of the Boston defenders collide with each other. They're going to have a stoppage here. It's a, a head injury. He gets Church if it's down. Nasty clash between him and Pearson. The Bikesman had, had a decent defensive game, one particularly stunning clearance when Boston could have killed the game to make it 2-0. I think Greg Mills has had his moments as well, but overall I'd lean towards Killer. There we go, then the referee blows to the final whistle. Telford have lost by one goal to nil. It's for Boston fans in the Frank Naggington stand who are celebrating. The goal after 31 minutes from Sean Pearson, a header on the corner. And Telford have lost their fourth game of the season.